Hi, I'm Lucas Mack, and welcome to another episode of The Golden Rule Revolution, where inspiration and purpose come from treating people like people and nothing less. Today, I want to talk about the power that is within you. That's right, the power that is within you. When you take ultimate responsibility in your life for everything that happens in your life, it helps us set the paradigm for why things happen to you. For instance, let me ask you this. Do you feel life happens to you or do you know that life happens for you? This is a big question. Do things happen to you or does all things, do all things happen for you? And does the world operate in a way where things happen for us? Now, certainly there are terrible things that happen to people. I know that very, very clearly from my own experience and from being a TV reporter and seeing terrible things that have happened to people. However, in the grand scheme of life, in the grand scheme of the time that we are on this planet for a very short time, no matter if it's 80 years, 90 years, 120 years, this time that we have is very short on earth. Yet, we are incredibly powerful beings while we're on earth. And we were placed on earth for a specific purpose. We were created in the image of God to reflect back to God his greatest desire, which is our greatest desire, which is to be loved and to love. When Jesus was asked the question, What's the greatest commandment? He could have said whatever he wanted. He could have said, accept me or go to hell. Believe in me, confess me, follow me, or burn for eternity. He didn't. What he simply said was, love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And love your neighbor. Love people. Love everyone. Love, love, love. You almost heard the Beatles song there, didn't you? And it's true. Love. Love is the greatest power that we hold. I said in an earlier podcast that fear is not a counterforce to love. Fear exists in the absence of love. Just like darkness is not a counterforce to light, darkness exists in the absence of light. They are not polarities. This narrative that they are polarities is not universally true. Where there is love, there will be no fear. Where there is light, there will be no darkness. Where there is love, there will be healing. Where there's an absence of love, there will be hurt. There will be pain. List all the things that you don't like that happen in your life. Maybe how people treat you. Maybe what happens to you on a day-to-day basis, your income, your job, your career, the news, the media, all these things you cannot control, a Supreme Court justice nomination, whatever it is, the President of the United States, what's happening in another country, none of that you can control. And what you cannot control, we become afraid of. We become afraid of what we can't control. And here is the two paths that all of us can take because we don't want to be afraid. We have a choice. We can either increase love where fear goes away or we can go down the rabbit hole of trying to control our circumstances and for some trying to control other people to mitigate the fear. You can never control your circumstances. 
you are never in control of your circumstances. Just like you are never in control of another human being. However, what you are in control of is how you show up in this world and your surrender to the good that is this world. God created this world. Therefore, he either made a mistake, is not real, or all the things that happen are according to what he chose. Now, this is not a theological, nor is it a religious podcast. However, I do know that what love loves, we are to love. God is love. It also says God is light. And in him, there is no darkness at all. God is love and in him, there is no fear at all. So we are to love what love loves. And what does love love? Question mark. Love, exclamation point. Love loves love. So guess what? The power that we have in this world to go forth in freedom is to operate from love and in love of ourself, of our creator, and of other people reflecting that love. This is the power that we have, and this is the power that we are abdicating right now in society. There are so many hurt people going around hurting people. If you are hurt, know that you have been hurt from a hurt person. Because healthy people don't hurt people. Only hurt people hurt people. Healthy people heal people. Healthy people have been healed because they've experienced Love and where love goes in deep to every nook and cranny of your heart and touches your soul, it allows that freedom to come forth, it allows that healing to come forth, it allows you to be free free of judgment, free of the crowd, free of what people think of you, free of all of it. True freedom, true, utter, beautiful, distinct freedom where another's opinion matters not to you. They can't shame you into silence. They can't intimidate you into silence. They can't threaten you into silence. Why? Because you love, you just crank it up. And the way I look at love is this. Love is like a dial. We have access to love inside of us like a dial. And perhaps it's like a pilot light in a gas stove, gas furnace. The gas furnace always has a pilot light on. You crank it up, and the fire grows. But over time, it cools off if you don't keep it cranked up. The gas doesn't keep going. And what I mean by this is you have love inside of you, but it's very little. Some people, some people have a dormant love pilot light. Your job when you feel fear is to just increase your love. And what is, what does that look like? How, what's the practical step just by feeling your love inside of you and just choosing it to just love more, turn it on, love the fear, the thoughts, the, whatever's going on inside you just know, okay, that's not love. That's fear. All right. I need to increase more love. This world does not have an intellectual problem. We do not have a lack of religious texts. We do not have a a lack of religious sermons or philosophical ideas or philosophers or philosophical books or great literature. We do not have a lack of anything. We lack nothing. We do not have a lack of resources in this world. We do not have a lack of intellect. We do not have a lack of strategy and strategic plans. We lack nothing except taking full responsibility for the love that we produce in this world. Period. That's it. We lack love. And as a result of us lacking love, 
we experience fear. And we feel that life happens to us. Things are happening to us. They're out to get us. They being, I don't know, whatever you make up about life. Your boss, your friends, your neighbor, everyone, everyone's out to get you. That's fear. Where's the love? Love is the most powerful force in all of existence. My encouragement to you, my challenge to you, whether you agree, disagree, or on the fence, one thing is certain, one thing I know, that you, as I, can increase our love. And the effect of that is good. No one will ever indict you for loving too much, for giving of yourself, for treating people in honor and respect, for simply opening a door for someone and preferring someone else before yourself. The world will not indict you for being too loving, but they will indict you for operating in fear. And that's not a fear-based conclusion that I've just laid out. It's simply to show you that you know operating in love is the best thing to do. Operating in love is the ways of being that you should be showing as an example to every person. The Golden Rule Revolution is a revolution of love. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Something I, I thought through a few months ago. Love gives truth permission to come forth, resulting in personal freedom. You want to be free? Tell the truth. You want to tell the truth? Experience love. You want other people to tell the truth? Be loving to them. Don't judge them. There's so much judgment. There's judgment of this video. I'm getting on here and I'm sharing a story and people are judging it. Judgment galore. We need not more of judgment. We need more love. We need more grace. Grace defined as something given that you don't deserve. None of us are deserving, but when we receive it, when we get someone's love for no reason other than they just love us or I love you and you love me and we just love each other, that's grace given. That is so beautiful. That is the essence of love. My challenge is who Who is keeping you from being the most loving person you can be? It could be you. You could be limiting you. It could be the people you surround yourself with. Family or friends. I don't know. It could be your coworkers. It could be anyone that you so choose to be around and spend time with. Whether it be you or someone else. My challenge is to figure that out. Who is limiting you? from being more loving and showing more love in this world. My second challenge is to crank the dial. When you feel that your love is depleted or you're just feeling down or everything seems like it's happening to you, you just crank that love. And you know, deep down, that's the only thing you can control. It's an inside game and it's yours to play. If this resonates with you, look, I, I can't do it alone. I cannot get this message out alone. We're in this together, you and I, Golden Rule Revolutionaries. I'm working on my second book. A lot of awesome things are about to come out. I'm very excited about this movement. I'm excited about what's happening with this podcast, what's happening with the speaking and the messaging and the books and all the things that are happening. And I can't do it alone. So I'm asking you, to rate this podcast, subscribe, 
download, like, whatever platform you are watching or listening to this podcast on, I am asking for you to join me in getting the word out. Because this is the Golden Rule Revolution, where inspiration and purpose come from treating people like people and nothing less. I'm Lucas Mack, and I'll talk to you on the next episode.